Hello everyone. When we are applying the gradient descent optimization, there is uh, some issues will be happen due to the number of uh, layers we are having in the network. So when we are applying the uh, gradient descent optimization during the back propagation uh, for calculating the gradients, so there is the possibility of an, um, number of gradients will increase of uh, when we are uh, uh, having more number of layers in the hidden uh, layers now we will see what are the issues will be happen the training of deep neural network with gradient descent during the back propagation is applying a partial derivatives by moving from the final output layer into the initial layer suppose if you are having uh, two layers this is the input layer x1 and then we will have one hidden layer neuron here uh, this is uh, we will take as a a1 then we will have output layer a2 uh, here right or o2 so when we are up calculating the output uh, after calculating the output we will get uh, uh, error okay so when you are calculating the error the, the uh, if there is any error then we will apply the back propagation to calculate the gradients step by step the, when uh, you are having more number of layers then we will apply the chain rule like in this pattern okay so for calculating single weight at the layer one here the w1 will be here so we will apply the chain rule here do do j divided by do a1 do a1 divided by do z1 then do z1 divided by do w1 this is for uh, uh, calculating with the single layer okay so when you are having the single perceptron like this we will have this many uh, uh, the terms three terms will will be needed for calculating the gradient for single parameter w1 so when you are having more number of layers like this then you will apply continuous matrix multiplications to the, to compute the derivatives for each and every parameter available in the network so when you are applying more number of uh, terms with the deep neural network there is the possibility of more number of terms will be added like this until uh, we are having so many number of layers so this uh, chain uh, chain of this gradients will increase with the count so due to that there is the pro there is the possibility of vanishing gradient problem or exploding gradient problem and saddle point problem poss possibility okay so here uh, one more thing there is the possibility of reaching local minimum uh, when we are using the gradient descent so wherever the minimum is there for example when you are plotting the uh, error so there is there is the possibility of error uh, uh, with different places so when you are increasing the number of iterations in, uh, in the x axis the error will the error will be available in y axis there is the possibility of local minimum in the uh, uh, gradient descent so it will struck with the local minimum that is one of the issue and uh, there is the possibility of local maximum so this is one maximum and this is another maximum okay so there is the possibility of local maximum also and there is another one issue issue saddle point that we will see in the uh, next slide so the saddle point is called minimax point which is the point on the surface of the graph of any given function where the slopes are in the orthogonal directions are all zero because here whatever uh, gradient you are calculating for any parameter suppose if you are calculating that it will uh, slope will be zero so far if your gradient is available for this also slope becomes zero so if slope becomes zero then uh, it will assume like a extremum but it is not a local extremum of the function so due to that saddle point injecting confusion into the learning process due to that the model is learning very slowly so when it is learning slowly the crucial point achieved in the achieved with the maximum cost value so the saddle point is uh, gets the focus 
when the gradient descent is working in multiple dimensions so if when you are working with multiple dimensions there is the possibility of saddle point issue and one of two more issues are vanishing gradient and exploding gradient so uh, to avoid the vanishing gradient uh, we have to use a relu activation function instead of sigmoid activation function and we can reduce the number of layers in the uh, network that means when we are having so many number of layers then we will we will uh, get so many number of gradient terms like this okay uh, so do a uh, do a suppose if it, if it is a4 then do a4 divided by sorry do j divided by do a4 then into do a4 divided by do j uh, z4 then do z4 divided by uh, here uh, do z4 divided by uh, do uh, a3 so like that it will keep on go right so the number of terms will decrease when you are reducing some number of layers uh, at that time we can reduce the vanishing gradient and weight initializer with variance so we can we have to initialize the weights with some variance and when you are applying the better optimizer like uh, uh, mini batch stochastic gradient uh, mini batch gradient descent or adam optimizer so like that when you are applying we can um, reduce the vanishing gradient issue with some uh, well tuned learning rate and the exploding gradient can be reduced by using three methods one is gradient clipping and uh, assigning the weights uh, assigning the weights properly and we can use a l2 regularization uh, for avoiding the exploding gradient issue and there is some limitations in the gradient descent problems uh, for good generalized model designing we should have large training data when we are having large training data there is the possibility of high computational cost okay because when the training data is growing suppose i am having 100 samples at initial stage it may give you more error then there is the possibility of increasing the 100 sample into 1000 samples when you are increasing the 1000 samples then uh, the uh, training set is growing at the same time the time to take for processing this 10 times of uh, samples than the uh, initial stage will take more time to uh, reach the convergence point so that is the issue in the gradient computations uh, in the machine learning and deep learning thanks for watching